uh, match day, Manchester United playing New Brentford away, and uh, I'm actually on my way to PP Island um, for the Easter weekend. So I thought I might do a special content here. Gonna, you're gonna follow me all the way to PP Island from the boat trip to the hotel, and you're gonna hear my lineup and uh, eventually score prediction and all that jazz. A full day and traveling with McRuby Travel Football MUSC Real Estate TV. So please, guys. Do not forget to like and smash that like button. Please smash it, smash, 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 smash. There's gonna be a lot of smash here as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a upload because here we go. We're gonna travel, get into the boat. Shaken and stirred on the way to uh, Dom PP Island. Oh my god, speedboat. Driving at Don Pipi Harbour, and the uh, first thing you see, beautiful. Lots of people coming in, and uh, it was a bumpy ride to be honest. But it's going to be worth to see what this island has to offer. It's got good parties, lots of footballing people, and uh, welcome to Pipi Pier. Football. Hey! Here we go. Traveling football. First day. Don't beat the island. Oh, pizza. Pizza. Right. Very, very cozy. Narrow street. Fantastic. Cool. So, what is a Manchester United fan doing in PP Island? It's basically Good Friday tomorrow, it's Easter. Having a day off uh, from all the content creation, but uh, gives me a little bit of time to actually enjoy the scenery, be with my family and uh, wife and everything else and friends. So, uh, yeah, still can't have to relax. I'm gonna do some content from here as part of different, different, different traveling football. Anyway, guys, we are approaching the the hotel so I will show you how it looks like when we get there as well I look at this scenery look at this that is smashing grab isn't it Whew. wow 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 can you believe it unbelievable smash Whoa. walking just to the hotel trying to this is so cozy Hey, that's Jason Statham. Jason! Just, uh, I think it's a five minutes walk to the hotel more, but still the scenery is amazing. Come on. Dom Pipi Island. Lots of, I think you're not allowed to drive anything here. It's uh, just walking and walking. Lots of cafe shops, lots of hotels. Uh, some topless chicks maybe, I don't know. And here we go. Oh, bus and ah, this is exciting. So I'm just gonna spend two days here over the Easter, and uh, yeah, this is all cool, I think. Um, but anyway, how are you doing? How are you doing over there? Because look at the sceneries over here. This is quite astonishing, to be honest. Listen, I I have been living here in Thailand for the past six months and it's kind of the first time I get out to this island it's just outside Phuket it's called Dom PP or PP Island what people are saying but uh, it's absolutely amazing so looking forward to get to the room see what uh, my wife has booked in hope they have some good Wi-Fi apparently 
We are about to land the beach here. Cool. All right. Hey, off you go. Wow, there you go. Take off the. Oh, wow. Sorry. Feet are planted in the sand. Look at the scenery, the limestones in the background. Cool, cool. All right then. How you doing? Sodi Cup. See, we have a friendly island people. Sodi Cup. Yep. All right. Time to switch off to save a little bit batteries. And we finally arrived at Bayview Resorts. How's that? All good? Sorry, sorry. No worries. <laughs> okay. Ah, I hate to be myself in the camera, so yeah, I don't mind more people actually. Where yeah. do you come from? What? Where do you come from? Me? Sweden, you? Sweden. Italy. 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 You like football? Yes. yes. Which team? Inter Milan. Inter Milan. <laughs> ro, ro, Romelo, Lukaku. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester United, of course. Yeah. All right, we're here. Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao, Bella. Ciao. Oh, there's some crazy Italian Inter Milan fans. We're here. Oh, passport. Okay, it's uh, check ins, passport control. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hello. Hello. Check in. Hello, how are you doing? Mm -mm -mm. Passport control. Check, check, check. Check. Everyone is checking in. Check, check, check. Godzilla. Got a show. Normal now. Bye bye. Which room do we get? Like a luxury, a luxury deluxe? Really? Yeah, we're gonna get luxury deluxe. Oh, I'm so excited. Maybe we're gonna, gonna end up in the in the basement with some with the rats. Who knows? Privyat. Privyat. Godzilla. Хорошо, как тебе? What's your name? Roman. Roman. He's a Russian. Hey. He's uh, actually my bodyguard, to be honest, like, you know, for my blog. Look at him, he's the size of Ivan Drago. He's the athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's, look at me, look at the size of me, look at the size of him, yeah? Um, all I know is to say, Pizdet Sukablet. <laughs> That's a very bad word, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, we're waiting for the hotel. I think Roman has got the deluxe uh, residential suite. Yes, yes. Upgraded. I get the basement with the rats, I think. <laughs> Exciting. I actually met a celebrity here while I'm checking in. Check it out, it's Jason Statham. Look at it, Jason Statham. Hello, Hi. Jason. Hi. I caught Jason Statham. <laughs> Look at Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's Jason Statham. Where's Rosie? Rosie? <laughs> Who is Rosie then? Who's Rosie? <laughs> ah, he's a uh, top model, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, Rosie. You divorced her. Your wife, S actually. Send her to my room if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm getting excited, but still gonna get the basement. <laughs> they say behind every man stands. Uh, oh, what is it saying? Behind a successful man stands a woman. Uh, right? Maybe behind successful man stands a woman. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, and behind a successful woman. I'm actually trans. Uh, yeah, behind a, su a successful woman stands a man. Staring at her ass. Oh, we're gonna get the basement so much. I'm in trouble. In the doghouse. A few moments later. Hello. Hello. How long have you been waiting for? Help me. <laughs> I'm very bad speaker in English. Oh, yeah. You you look like a boxer. Boxer? Did you fight? No, I don't okay, think so. Should I be afraid? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pujalusta. 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 Okay. Passport? Um, this guy is a world champion in Veltovic. Yes. Yeah. 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 Box, box. All right. Um, he's been waiting here for quite a while and I think he's going to start swinging if he doesn't get his room key. Jesus Christ, they are not fast here. I hope I don't get the basement. Maybe I will. Again. Hmm. I have a little bit bad feelings. But look at the scenery. Amazing. All right then, while we're waiting for the quality, I just have a fag. Go over my starting prediction, lineup prediction. United playing Brentford away. 
<laughs> it's a no-brainer that he's back in the team. Proper training. Um, Casemiro hopefully is back. Don't know what's going on with Slabhead, but Slabhead is Slabhead, you know what? Ain't gonna start anyway, so I believe it's gonna be uh, my predicted lineup. I guess going for a rookie. We're not 100 percent sure. Aaron Van Bissaka, spy legs to the left, and you have on the right you have Daloy. And back in action you will see Alicia from the center there playing with Rafa Brown. That is the back row for me, 100 uh, percent Midfield. <coughs> the glider is there. We're talking about the D Kobe Mainster, right? D Kobe Mainster, the lighthouse, the serenity in the storm. We got the man of the match against England. Definitely my starting eleven together with Casemiro, what a pairing, and Bruno Fernandes. I hate to say it, but on the left wing, it will probably be Rashford, who hasn't been really great and didn't even get minutes on England. Ten minutes can be. Great. He does what Rashford does, and I don't don't really particularly like him this season. But he's he's gonna get picked. Mm. So people say, "Well, you're smoking. Why he's gonna pick him?" Mm. It's just the way it is, man. He's an asset. Uh, of course, in the middle you will have Ras, Ras, Rasmatas, Ras, Ras, Rasmatas, Rasmus Hoyland, of course, and Ganacho will be cooking nacho sauce on the right. So that is the way I see it. I don't see Scott and Tommy starting. At oh. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're playing Brentford, of course. We're going to be afraid of Ivan Tony, but don't be afraid of the Wolf. So, I mean, Ivan Tony scores a lot of penalties and can't stop yapping since he came back from his booking charges that he wants to leave the club. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, get that one over the line. And my score prediction is always the Z Ruby Classic uh, 3 1. And I still haven't got the clean keys, and I believe I'm going to end up in the basement still with the rats, and hopefully. Hopefully they will give us a little bit of an upgrade to the deluxe city. I don't know. But um, let's see. Wife is standing there in the background with Jason Statham trying to pick her up. Yeah, you know Jason Statham, bald is beautiful like Ten Hag. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Hey, Jason. What are you trying to pick up my wife for? Oh. Jesus Christ. Jason Statham, shame on you. Trying to hit on my wife? Jesus Christ. Ay, ay, ay. I don't like this trip so far. So, that's pretty much it for today. We didn't get our room. It's delayed. It's uh, 12 o'clock. We're getting our room at 2. Until then, I gotta take my watch off and give it to my video assistant, my wife. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Guys, see you later and Manchester United will win! Thank you so much for stopping by and watching MUFC Realist TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials.